ang reference point ko in our teaching about understanding the times, discerning the times, redeeming the time, ay yung uh, idea na when God created us, at ang kanyang nakita, hindi yung beginning mo, hindi yung dinadaanan mo, ang nakita niya sa yung end result mo, yung tapos na ikaw. In Isaiah chapter 46, ang sabi ng Bible, I made known the end from the beginning. From ancient times, what is still to come. Alam na niya kagad. In fact, yun ang nakita niya. Yun ang kanyang ginawa. Ang sabi ito, I say, my purpose will stand and I will do what I please. Perfect ang pagkakalika sa ating lahat. Kasi because God is a big, powerful, loving, benevolent God who loves us, nung nilikha niya tayo, wala tayong salya, wala tayong sabit, wala tayong mga pagkukulang. In fact, kinreate niya tayo, nilagay niya tayo sa isang paraiso. It's a delightful place. Ang Eden is an atmosphere of success. It's an atmosphere of blessing and abundance. Kaya lang, may kasalanan pumasok na daya tayo ng kaaway at naniwala tayo, kaya nagkagulo-gulo ang buhay natin. And sometimes yung man nangyayari sa atin, even though I think malaking porsyento ng nangyayari sa iyo is your choice, maling pa siya, naniwala ka sa kasinungalingan ng iba, at pumayag ka. May mga nangyayari sa atin na tayo may kasalanan, pero may mga nangyayari hindi natin kasalanan. Na naging dahilan ng problema ng buhay natin, yung takot natin about tomorrow, yung fearful tayo, meron tayong kapatid, asawa, best friend, boyfriend, girlfriend, yung mga nangakong sasamahan tayo, iniwanan tayo, buti na lang ang pinag-aaral natin ng time. Ang time, ang panahon, yan ay ginawa ng Diyos. Time is an interruption of eternity. Alright? Ang eternity is walang beginning, walang end. Ito ibig sabihin, God is existed before time, and God will continue to exist after time because God is God. Yung time ay ginawa for us. Kaya sabi ng Bible in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, you know, there is a time for everything, a season for every activity. Buti na lang, walang forever itong time dito sa earth. That, that's good news. Kung may nagsasapir ka today, praise God, may end ang suffering. Amen? Amen? And mind you, the earth is not our habitation. Sabi niya, you believe in God? Believe also in me, sabi ni Jesus Christ. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. But I am going there to prepare a place for you. So in, in heaven, in a place, God knows, meron siyang mansion. So therefore, itong earth is temporary. Kaya nga pagka ginugugul mo lahat ng punong sa, lu- sa lupang ito, sayang, gugunawin na ito. At binigyan lang tayo ng time, pag nalakpasan mo na ito, kung ano ang ginawa mo dito sa time na binigay sa'yo ng Lord, pagbabayaran mo yan. And the Bible is very, very clear. You do what is right, trusting God, He'll bring you in His eternal kingdom. You think you're doing right, but you're doing wrong. At hindi ka talaga nagtiwala kay Jesus Christ, you will find yourself forever in judgment. And maybe may tatakanak ang problema today. Maybe suicidal lang thought mo. Maybe you are so depressed. Maybe ang feel mo hirap na hirap kayo. Maybe may nangyayari sa buhay mo na hindi mo maintindihan na. But let me tell you this. Praise God. That time will not go forever. And so, as I look at this situation today, in binabasa ang situation, sabi ko, Lord, buti na lang. Napakabuti mo sa amin. Miski may mga sufferings kami today. Puti na lang, you're a God of justice and you're a God of love. Pagka isinuko ko ang buhay ko kay Jesus, pag nagtiwala ako sa kanyang pangako na ang nagtitiwala sa kanya, hindi niya ipahihiya. Pag pinaniwalaan ko na binayaran na niya ang lahat ng kasalanan ko at yung penalty ng kasalanan ko, pag naniwala ako by faith na nalig ako sa Diyos, na natin naintindihan mo, now I'm going to hell, I have sinned against God, Christ died for me when you open up your hearts and receive Jesus Christ you will be saved pag sinabing magnaligtas ka ibig sabihin kayang baguhin ng Lord ang mapapangit na kwento ng buhay mo ang mga malaampalayang takbo ng buhay mo ay papaltan ng Lord ng honey and sweetness and blessing and fruitfulness because God loves us